so hello and welcome to another painting episode and uh, in this episode we will be painting Lord Velpheus and his tainted cohort okay so we can see a little bit there now cool all right so <clears throat> uh, we'll just be following the guide in the book but uh, ultimately I will be changing the scheme slightly for my own collection. Um, the reason being is because I already got a copy of the Dark Imperium. So I wasn't too worried about painting the Nurgle, um, sorry, the Death Guard and the Ultramarines as they are presented in the magazines to help you guys follow that guide. Um, but now and then with the more, uh, unique, uh, kits, I will do a slightly different, uh, color scheme just so I can match that into a scheme that I'm happy with, with my private collection. Um, I will, I will show you all the bits and pieces. Don't worry about where you got to paint what and how, um, so you guys can manage with your own collections and then yeah as I've always said from the beginning you have creative license so you can get to do what you like how you like so as always it will be with the existing paints that are given to us in this collection so far um, I also present to you my bowl of biscuits my cup of tea so you always gotta have a cup of tea but to save me getting up to the kitchen i've made a whole thermos full of tea and uh that will keep me going for a couple of hours so uh let's get started so first of all <clears throat> our paints we are going to need our death guard green and you'll be noticing that it is getting a little bit light now. Um, but we will be getting some more soon. We'll have our Abaddon Black as well. We have our Lead Belcher. We have our Retributor Gold. We have... Bugman's Glow. And we have Rack Our Flesh. We also have Arms Fist and Red, which we've only just started using. And then we have our Shades, Non Oil, and Big Red Earth Shade. We've also got Fresh Water, got your painting handle if you need it, and um, your various brushes that you've gotten in the collection so far. If you have subscribed, then um, if you're doing these uh, issues when you get them, you won't have some of the brushes that I've got now, uh, simply because I'm just that much further behind on the issues I'm receiving um, as to the issues I'm actually working through. Uh, so, for example, I have this nice large base brush. Um, which I got for subscribing and this small layer brush which is very nice and there was one more the medium shade brush which is very handy as well so these three brushes you get as your final free gifts if you are subscribed if not then you got your uh, handy start brush which I always say if you can grab a couple of the first issue then having multiples of those brushes is very handy because they don't stay nice and pointed for long. Um, got the large dry brush and then of course got the medium brush, or, uh, medium base brush sorry, which is what you get about now as well which needs a real good clean. This is not how you look after a brush people. So a bit of soap and water will help clear that out. Right. 
So now that we have got all of our paints and stuff ready, we've got our fuel. Um, I've already gone ahead and base coated all of the armor um, with the Death Guard Green. So that is your first step, doing Death Guard Green. And uh, yeah, it took me about three good even coats to get it how it is and that's standard I think across the board I also managed to paint the back of the legs and uh, inside of the hood as well when it comes to painting the inside of this it's a lot easier to get to it with your medium base brush go ahead and help yourself to some Abaddon Black And you just pop some on your palette. You should have some kind of palette by now. Um, like an old saucer would do. Or a tile. Anything like that. Just a little bit of water to it. Just to get a nice consistency. And you will have to do a couple of layers of this. Um, and then what you do. As you start painting all these spikes like so try not to get on the armor that you've already painted so if you need to swap to a smaller brush to do the details uh, that are a lot closer to the armor then it's worth doing you just do a nice even coat there and uh, leave it the half not the haft, the shaft of the scythe as well. Um, if you wish to do your cables black, you can. Um, what else? You got these pipes here, which you can paint in black as well. This chap, it will be the uh, bolt gun case like that so you want to paint all that up he will have his horns painted up like so and the uh, casing on the gun and it's like he's got like some weird horns along his arm as well and down the side of his armor so pick all those out and then with a nice steady hand you could pick out the eyes as well we will be painting these red but if you give them a Abaddon black base coat then you can use that sort of shading for the red Like so. Groovy. This dude. He's got multiple eyes, so you could do all of those. And then he's got all these little teeth things. So get those and these spiky teeth and things all over him as well. Um, so have fun with that. If you're painting up these chaps as well. Um, just do the horns and the teeth and the eyes and the same with this dude you just paint the horns the eyes and the teeth like so and of course that's after you've base coated them with the death guard green okay then so once we've done all of that and we've got our nice uh even layers done blah 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 Next one is going to be Lead Belcher. I'm gonna do the scythe. I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna get in there as well. You wanna do this bit here and do that bit there. Like all along there. Um, 
and what else do we got? This bit and this bit here. And of course we got the massive incense thing. We also have the chain mail. Which we've got a bit thicker just to get into gaps. And the fly motif as well. So we're going boop, boop, boop. I'm going, I am going to do the pipes and that color just to break it up a bit more from the green it's going to be all the gun bits up right there uh, right there we got the sword as well and then we got these new mechanical bits under that the big ass you have these mental bands as well. So for this gun, do that. Up, 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 up. Do that. Get that done. Make this big gold. All that bit. Under the. Do these bits as well. The handle. And of course. The grenade. The little lug man. Okay, so with the medium base brush, we're gonna get the Reg Beauty Gold. And we're going to focus on all the trims and details, so the little halos, the rims around the front of the uh, faces, um, all the edges of the armor and around the little uh, fox caster part and on the shins as well like that. And you do want to do at least two uh, thin coats of this to get a nice strong color. Uh, there's little details on the scythe as well. And you got like the little bands as well to do, and then of course you got the vents on the power pack, and the trims on the back piece as well. And then here's the other one as well. So as you can see, all the little details painted in gold, just there for you to see. And there's the other one with the power axe power chain axe or well, I think it's just a chain axe and then there's the dude with the plague sword as well and you see the uh, the handle is painted like that all right next up is known oil and we use the medium shade brush if you got it and you want to put it nice and heavily on the uh, the chain mail to really bring out the recesses and then with the rest of the uh, silver details you just put a good coating on but you don't want to put too much so make sure you put some on the palette so you can control how much is on your brush and then of course you just fill out the little details like so Remember, if you do make any mistakes, you can always go back to it uh, at the end. So, Agarax Earthshade for the gold details. And, of course, you can put this as heavily as you like. Remember, the, the darker it is, the more worn and battered it looks, and the more brass it will look rather than gold. So, just do a good coating, but remember not to put too much because you don't want it to pull too much in the details and because it will obscure them there you go all on the trims and around the head then we're going to use Buckman's Glow and for this you want to use it on all the tentacles and you want to start from the top and work your way towards the armor 
so that you can sort of pick out this little bits of detail where it merges onto the armor and then you can just decide where you want to stop a bit like how you did with the box walkers and then of course you get the rest of the tentacles and part of his helmet you get the, de uh, the details on the shoulders and the knees and everything so you see the uh, the trilobe there and uh, these are the other dudes as well so the piping you can see there what they do in flesh and there's the nurglings as well you can see the little uh, boils are picked out as well then with Rakar flesh I removed the head so I'll be able to paint it without fear of spilling onto the armor around it so again this will need a couple of good layers uh, so try and keep it thin and spread it well so you don't obscure the details on the face and with the cape you want to start from the top and just work your way down and this will need about three good layers so take your time with it And then lastly we use Mephiston Red, so again, take your time with it, if you do make any mistakes don't worry, and you will need a couple of layers of this just to block out the green as well. You start from the top of these uh, straps, and uh, yeah, you see like the little uh, tabard straps down there as well, and you want to do the eye lenses with uh, your detail brush, or if you've got a layer brush you can use that as well, and just take your time. Remember have all your fingers touching and leave a little gap around the edge so that the black underneath does like a natural shading effect. And then once you finish that you can go over the little details uh, at the bottom of the skirt and those are the nurgling eyes as well. Okay, so welcome to another community focus, and uh, this time I want to focus a bit more on the Death Guard Terminators. So let's dive right in. So starting with Garfi, uh, he's a regular, and um, he does some fantastic work. We'll just have a look here. Look at that, beautiful. So he's gone for a different color scheme, and he's been keeping it. Uh, across the board as you can see by the miniatures in the background there and uh, he even posted look, up a little guide as well there you go he's got a little shout out there um, and then Christopher Buckingham he also posted before uh, he hasn't got to the Terminators yet but he's been working on his pox walkers and my goodness that is a lot of pox walkers so I can't wait for those. 38 Dark Imperium and Conquest. Blimey. Can't wait to see those all finished. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Robert Cooper is saying he's far behind. But I know how you feel dude. But I'm doing video tutorials and I'm well, 15 issues behind. So here is Tom Tattersall and uh, so he's done the bases on them as well which is great and uh, yeah no he's done it to the standard of the uh, the issue but it's looking really good it's very neat very tidy I like the fact that he's gone ahead and done the base as well it's gonna look fantastic I'm gonna get some, a few more colors on there and uh, I thought that was it really so thank you again for sending those pictures in and as always you can hit me on the social media links in which are in the description below um, or you could do the hashtag the underscore hobby underscore corner and I'll get those pictures and then I'll pop them up in the next video uh, the next one is going to be um, the final armored container but I want pictures of ones that are open and have the interior painted because that's what I want to focus on in the next video. So if you got any of those pictures, throw them my way and I'll pop them in the video. So thank you again for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video 
and uh, tell me what you liked about it, tell me what you didn't, and uh, what your thoughts are about uh, future projects in the comments below. And uh, as always, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that little bell icon so you get the notifications for when I upload any future videos. So, once again, thank you very much for joining me. Peace.